Hi, I'm George, and we're going to make this animated totem of undying just like that. Now the first thing we need to do is to make a folder to build our resource pack in. Let's switch over to the desktop and get that set up. And before we get into this, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in the future. Okay, the first thing you need is a new folder on your computer. I made one here, I just called it Packs right there. The next thing we need is just a few files. Now for that, we need to bring up the Minecraft launcher. I'll bring that up right now. Here we go. I'm currently in 117.1 right down here. Now go up here where it says Installations, click into that, and then here, go over here, Latest Release, and to the right hand side you see that folder right there? Click on that folder, and that opens up the Minecraft folder. That's the easiest way to get to this. We can just get that out of the way now. Now in here, come down where it says Versions right there. Let's go into Versions, and then find your current version in here. There's my 117.1. Go inside of that, and you should see two files, a JAR file and a JSON file. If you don't see that extension, go up here to view and click on that checkbox right there, find them extensions, make sure there's a check right here and you will see those extensions and you want that jar file. I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. We'll need this for the Totem of Undying graphic and also to build our resource pack. Now we're also going to be needing to get a pack MC meta file and that's not included in 117.1. I don't know why, it's just not there. So you need to go back to a different version. I have 116.5 here. Or if you don't have an earlier version, you can download this from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, right now, let's just go here into 116.5. Same thing, grab that jar file, drag it over here, and copy. Okay, we have those two files. That's good. I can close this down. We now need to convert these over into zip files. Easy to do. Just click into the name, type over jar, and make it say zip. Just like that. It'll ask you to agree. There we go. Same thing on this 116.5. There we go, and that's all now set to go. Okay, let's first grab the Totem of Undying graphic. So for that, I'm going to right click on this 117.1, open a new window, and it just puts it right over here. Easy to do. Okay, go into Assets, it's at the top, go into Minecraft, come down to Textures, go inside here, go into Item right there, and at the bottom of this list, way down here, you're going to find the Totem of Undying, and it's right there. Just right drag it over here and copy, and there's our graphic image. Now before he leaves this, I'll put this right up here. Notice we went inside of several folders here, Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and Item. We need to recreate these as folders in our working folder over here. Easy to do. Go ahead, click on New Folder. I think the first one, Assets. Go inside of that. New Folder, next one is Minecraft. There we go. Inside of that one, next folder is Textures. There it is. Inside of that one, next folder is Item. There we go. Okay, it's back up to our Packs folder right here. Okay, that's the folder structure that's all set to go. When we have this made, we'll go ahead and we'll drag it over there. Now we need one more file out of this zip file. So back up here to the zip file, let's back up here to textures, and then go up here where it says block, and there's a whole bunch of files in here, and we need to find an animation file out of this whole set here. Here's one right here. They're gonna be saying MC Meta at the end. It'll be a .png, .mc Meta. This one will work out fine. There are a few more of these in here. I'll just scroll down so you can see there's another one right here. Here's one right there. These are all fine. Let's just grab this one, right drag it over here, and copy. Okay, we can now close this down. Now on this one, we need to rename this totemofundying.png.mcmeta. So I'm just going to go over here. I'll click once, copy the name. There we go. Let's go over here. I'll click into this and leave that .png alone and right click and paste. And that just renames that Okay, we'll be using this to create the actual animation. We'll do our frames over here, and this runs the animation. All right, now over here on this 116.5, we need two files out of here. Same thing, right click, open in new window. There it is. Now on this one, scroll way down and get down here to right near the end, right there. You want that pack MC Meta and the pack PNG. So I'll grab both of those, right drag those over here, and copy, and there we go. We're now done with that and close that. Now, if you want to, you can save both of these files for use later on for making other resource packs. I'll just leave those right here. Okay, we now have everything we need to build a resource pack except for the animation itself. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll be starting off with this file right here. Again, the Totem of Undying PNG. And I'll be editing this in Paint.net. You can use any graphics editor that you want. Paint.net happens to be free and it's just fine for this kind of a project. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'll bring that up and we'll then get this into that program. Okay, here's paint.net and here's our working folder in front of that. Easy way to get an image into paint.net is just to drag and drop right like that and choose open image. There we go. Now these are real small images. That's fine. I'm just going to zoom in on this using the zoom control. It's bottom right hand corner. 
and we get that pretty good size. There we go. That's good enough. And use our sliders here to get that centered. Okay, there is the basic graphics for this. Now we're not going to be changing anything on here, not going to be making it look different. We're just going to be moving these little wings in here up and then down again. And we do that by making new layers, one frame of the animation per layer. So for that, we need to make a copy of this. Here's our background right now. And go up here. I'm just going to first deselect this Control D to deselect. There it is. Go up to Layers, come down to Duplicate Layer. There's the shortcut here is Control Shift D. I'll be doing it up here so it's really easy to spot in the video, but the shortcut's actually faster. Okay, there we go. There's our copy of this. Now just double click on that one. I'm going to call this one two. This is layer two. There it is. And in here, go over to the left hand side, grab the square. This is just the rectangular marquee tool. Come over here someplace and then drag marquee like that just around that wing. Go up here to our options. Click on the second one here. This is add. Do the exact same thing here on the second wing like that. Now go up here to the move tool and just hit the up arrow one time. That moves it up one notch. If I hide that background, you can see it right there. So there's the original and here's the background. Okay. Control D to deselect that. Same thing again. Go up to layers, duplicate layer, double click, rename this one three, choose OK. And you can go over here and you can drag down the layers like this. You can see more of our layers. Same thing, I'm going to hide layer two. Back over here, back to our rectangular marquee. Pull your two selections in like that. Grab your move tool, tap the up arrow one time. That moves that wing up just one. Control D, deselect. Okay, I'm gonna do the next four of these. Okay, here we are at the top. We need to just reverse this back down to the bottom and that's actually easier because we already have those layers right down here. We just need to duplicate those layers. We'll start off with layer six. I'll duplicate this one. Layer, duplicate layer. Just move that one on top like that and that one becomes layer eight. There we go. Come down to five. Layers, duplicate layer. Goes on top, double click. That one becomes layer nine. Choose okay. Come down to four, same thing, layers, Duplicate layer, move that one on top. That one becomes 10, there it is. And then three layers, duplicate, move that one on top, double click, that one is 11, choose okay. And our final one, layer two right down here, layers, duplicate layer, move it up on top, double click, and that one becomes layer 12, there we go. Let's get this history out of the way and I'll stretch the layers up. So you can see all those, there we go. So we have 12 layers in here. Now, we need to make this image 12 times as tall as it is right now. Easy to do. Go up here to Image, come down to Canvas Size. It's this little anchor thing right here. Click on the bottom like that, so anchor says bottom. And here on the height, we need to make this 16 times 12, which is 192, and choose OK. And I'll now back out as you can already see this thing. There it is, it's just scroll down a bit so you can see that, just like that. And one more, there we go. So there it is, there's our whole graphic now. It's now 12 tall. We need to move each one of these graphics up so we have all of these layers on their own spot inside of this graphics. I'm gonna show the background. Now notice on the background, we have this kind of a white thing in here. Background has a transparency, everything else is white. We need to get rid of that. And for that, grab the rectangular select tool here and pull it down like that and pull it down until you're just at the top right here, right above the totem, hit the delete key, and you should then just see that transparency effect in there. Okay, we're all now set to go. Move up to layer two, and then use the up arrow, and go up 16 times, because these are 16 tall. Use the control D keyboard shortcut to deselect. Go up here to layer three, show layer three, and then use the up arrow, and move that one just above that layer two. It's just one click above right here, Control D, keyboard shortcut, and I'll do the rest of these in fast motion here to kind of speed things up. Okay, there we go. We now have each one of the layers in their own spot on this one big tall graphic. I'll do final control D to deselect that. And we're now set for the animation. That's all we need for the graphic. Let's now save this out. I'm gonna save this twice. Go up to file, come down to save. And we're in our packs folder still. I'm first saving it as a paint.net file. This saves all the layers, everything else, choose save. Okay, now we need to save this out as a PNG file. Go up to file, come down to save as. 
and then change this down to PNG. It's the next option down. It'll go right on top of that one. Choose Save. Choose Yes to overwrite that. Click OK and flatten. And that's all done. We're now done with this file. We can now close down paint.net. And there we go. There's our new PDN file. This is the paint.net file. And over here, here's the PNG file. This is the one that we need inside of the game. Okay, now we need to edit this MC Meta file. I'm opening this up in Notepad++. It's also a free download, and it's a great editor for this kind of basic programming here inside of Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get this open. I'll put a link for that also in the description. Now notice it says animation and frame time too. If you want to, you can play around with how long the animation runs. This is your frame time. That's how long each frame is displayed. So you can change that number to get different effects. We'll leave this one at the default, which is two, which is the standard for everything else in the game. So that's all fine. Close that one down. Okay, we now need to get these inside of that assets folder. I'm just gonna go like this, select those, right click and copy. We'll go inside assets, Minecraft, textures, item, and then just right click and paste. We'll just copy those in there. Okay, that part of the resource pack is now finished. That's all set to go. Let's now go up here to the pack MC Meta. We need to do a couple of changes on this one. Double click, open this one up. If you're in 117.1, we need to change this 6 to a 7. And we need to make it say something different. You don't have to, but you probably should. Let's just call this one Animated Totem. And I'll make that capitalized. Okay, that's good. Click on Save, and that's all done. There we are. Okay, now the pack PNG, this is just the image that shows up inside of Minecraft in your list of packs. So you don't actually have to change this. If you want to, you can. It's just a 128 by 128 square PNG image. That's all it is. I'm just gonna leave this one alone and not bother with that. Okay, let's go ahead now and zip this up. Grab your assets folder, hold the control key down, click on pack MC meta, pack PNG, go up to share, come down to zip, and let's give this one a name. I'll call mine Animated Totem 2 because I already have one in there that I showed you at the beginning of this video. We now need to get this over into the game. Easy to do. Let's bring the launcher back. There it is. Go back into that folder right there. Bring that up this time. Go over here where it says Resource Packs. Open that folder up. Okay. I'm going to put this just right there. Let's go back to our working folder right here. And then just take your zipped up pack and just drag it in here. There we go. There's my original one here. Here's our new one right down there, Animated Totem 2. That's now in the game. It's all set to go. Let's get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. We can now launch the game. Click on Play. We'll then activate that pack. And we'll check it inside the game to make sure the animation is working properly. Here's my custom menu screen. If you want to find out about this, I have four different videos for different parts of this. I'll put links for those videos in the description if you want to see how this was done. But for now, let's go into Options, Resource Packs, there's the one I had for my example. Get that out of the way. Here's the one that we just made. Bring that one in. Choose Done. Let this launch the game. Choose Done again. In the single player, there's my main world right here. And you can see there, there is that animated totem right hand side. You can see it down there at the bottom, little icon that's working just fine. And there is that animated totem of Undying. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Make sure you check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.